Good afternoon, everybody. So just like I promised, I will be doing a house tour today. So many of you have asked. You have also asked if I am renting or owning. And when Lana and I decided to move out to Utah, we decided that it was best for us to rent for now because we knew we wouldn't be living in this city forever and it just wasn't the best financial decision for us to make. And so renting was the best decision for us so let's get started. Okay, so we live in what's called a duplex, and this is our front door. Lannon's brother welded that spider first. How cool is that? It is Halloween time if you can't tell, so welcome to our home. So when you first walk in, we've got stairs that goes downstairs. Oh, the rug's messed up down there. And then we've got this living area. This is one of my favorite rooms because it is bright it is quiet except for when the kids play the piano and there's no TV and Toby's up here and I did that on purpose we've got books up here that they can read we're going to be doing family pictures really soon I'll put a big family picture right there we've got all our photo albums up there so just kind of a nice quiet room but if you can see that we have hard this is not wood it's tile it is very loud echoey, cold, hard. And so one of the first things that I knew I needed was a rug. And so when I was looking for rugs, I found boutique rugs. I will leave a link down in the description below. But this rug and the one downstairs I'll show you, they are so soft, but they are thick and sturdy. And I like them because they don't roll up on the corners like a lot of cheap rugs do. This was good price, but it also is good quality. And it doesn't even have one of those like mats underneath, but it doesn't even move around. Like it doesn't budge. And Porter threw up the other day on it and I was like, ah, oh, crap. Um, and it came out just fine. Like I took some like cleaning spray and cleaned it out and it came right out of this carpet. Like no problem at all. You can't even tell where he threw up, obviously because it's a very designed rug, but there's a lot to choose from. I really like it. It's really soft, great quality. A long time ago, someone asked where we got our couches from. We've had them for six years and they came from RC Willy. It's local to, I think, Utah. But I got that lamp at a thrift store and I just painted it. So just real, Real simple in here. I knew there was gonna be a lot of like brown piano, brown floor, brown couch, and so I wanted it to be bright with like white curtains and just real clean and simple looking. In here is the kitchen. We even had to add a leaf to our table to make it bigger because we moved the um, high chair into the storage room. But I've got a shelf up here and you guys, I need someone to come teach me how to decorate. Like, I don't know how to decorate, but when my monthly budget increases a little bit, then I'll go get some like maybe cute little decorations to put up there. But until then, it's just simple. I've got a cute little saying that my friend made me, and I like this kitchen because there's more counter space to work with than our last kitchen, as you can see. Popsicle stick. <clears throat> Popsicle sticks go in the garbage can. No, but overall, I really like the kitchen. I like the layout of it. It seems to be open. I was nervous that the table was going to be too far into the middle, but it, there's actually more room in there than I thought there was going to be. So I'm happy with that. More space to cook. Down here, we've got the bathroom. And I wanted it to be bright in here as well. So this shower curtain came from Target. And then my sisters convinced me to buy my bath towels from... Pottery Barn, and I do not regret it one bit. They are the softest towels I have ever dried off with, so thank you, Mom, for that little nice homewarming gift. Pottery Barn for the win, but it's just simple in here. There's a lot more counter space than our old bathroom. If you remember, it was literally like from here to here, and that was it. So this is one of two bathrooms. This is kind of a fun closet, especially for Emma. It's just got like all her artwork stuff and just stuff that they can like play with and a whole bunch of other random items. All right, are you ready to go into the master bedroom? It says no boys allowed. What the heck, it says no boys allowed. Do you guys see where I have like quarantined the kids? I'm like, you stay here, so quiet. No, they've been fine, they've been playing, but 
No boys allowed! This is the master bedroom because it is bigger than my bedroom, you lucky little girl. So when I was looking at the two different bedrooms, I was eyeballing them. I'm like, oh, they're the same size. So I put them in this room, and after I got all the stuff in here, I realized that this room is bigger than my bedroom. But that's okay, we just left her stuff in here. So she's just got all her little girly dolly stuff and her bookshelf that she had in her old room. So this is the perfect room for Emma. Okay, you can play it again. So this is actually the master bedroom, a little bit smaller than hers, hence why my other end table wouldn't fit there, so we had to switch it out a little bit, but one day I'll get something to go above the bed. I'm not sure what I want there, something pretty anyway. Um, that's just where I hang all my earrings and jewelry. I like it because I can stare out at the kids when I'm in my bedroom or in the kitchen. They just play in the backyard and the sun comes in. Landon's been hanging stuff up on the walls for me. He needs to put his tools away now. Okay, so let's go downstairs. Okay, so when you get downstairs, the bathroom is at the... Whoa, there we go. The bathroom is down here, and it's just a typical kid's bathroom. There's a little bench right there. I painted that in Kansas City with my friends. If you have never done a paint night, go ahead and get a group of friends and do a paint night together because they are so fun. Um, it's not great, but it was fun to do. All right, I don't believe that I am alone when I say that I have a room like this. It is a little bit scary. If you don't wanna look, you can turn it off now. I'm just warning you, it's scary. It looks like a disaster in here and <laughs> it is a disaster so this could be an extra bedroom but we needed a place to put like the printer the sewing machine we've got a like a goodwill pile there we just need to get rid of but i mean we've got like suitcases and swimming stuff and extra toilet paper and just good heavens i think we're gonna set up another one of these storage things right here i think we'll set it up right there um but yeah i will clean this room up real soon and another disastrous room is the boys room I'm embarrassed but seriously Porter was napping all day and he just woke up and I did not have time to clean his room and I wanted to film this so bad so this is the boys room it's crazy messy um, Porter sleeps there Cooper sleeps there but one of these days we'll probably get um, a different bed set up if you know what I mean um, but, I mean, it's a typical boys' room. There's a baseball in here. There's laundry in here. I still need to hang up a few pictures there. But their closet is fun. I've showed this already before, but it goes down in there, so they like to play in there. And, oh, good heavens, let's just get out of this room. Let's get out of here. You've seen it. You don't need to keep seeing it. Down on this side of the basement is fun. So this is our basement living, toy, TV watching, just have a good time type of room. So this is the other room that's dark and cold and I wanted something bright and fun for the kids to be down here while they were playing. So this is the other rug from Boutique Rugs and it is a little bit different texture but it's very soft. I think it's softer than the one upstairs. But once again, it doesn't even shift around. The corners stay down. Super soft, super fun colors. I really like the design of this. The kids like it down here. We've got all their toys up there. And in order to get any of those toys, they've got to put their other ones away to keep it cleaned up down here. So um, I thought the rocking chair that I already had matched it pretty well anyway. Um, this side of the basement is the room that I guess it's the second room that if I don't know where it goes, it goes in here. Um, we've got popsicles and fruit snacks. They are both locked up so that the kids cannot get into the snacks whenever they want to. Just kidding, there's some healthy stuff in there too. I promise we eat healthy, but that is just like a little extra food storage in there. And this is where I do laundry. So our place came with a set of washer and dryer, which was super nice, so we just sold our last ones. Um, I just keep them covered up when I'm not using them. But I like that there's tile in here because it just kind of gives the kids a place to like play with cars and whatever else down here. So that is pretty much it for the home tour. I mean, it is very simple, very basic. I don't go crazy decorating it. I, I mean, kids are gonna make a mess of things anyway. And so I just like things clean and simple and fresh. So that's pretty much it. Oh, and this chair I already had painted blue, kind of matched it in here. So 
it works for now at least. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next from us. And until then, thank you for watching. We will see you guys next time.